Hi guys, my name is Margarita, for those who don't know me, and for those who do, welcome back to the Blonde Avenue, my loves. How have you been? <laughs> This is a very, very exciting video, and I'm about to tell you why. This is the first in the series where I do a comparison video, this versus this, and this video is all about the Birkin versus the Kelly. That's right, this is a Hermes war, bag against bag. Well, not really. This is more of a series where I'm gonna compare two similar luxury items. So if you want to go into a store and you want to buy, say, an Hermes Birkin versus a Kelly, I'm gonna try them out for you and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on the two. First things first, I just wanted to say, welcome back to my channel, guys. Please watch the video first and then subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and give this one a like if you so wish to. This channel is all about luxury, fashion, and self-improvement because those are the things I love to do in life and we are just all here to create a beautiful life and create a little friendship circle because I've got to know so many of you over having this channel and I really, really appreciate so many of you and love you lots like Jelly Tots. Without further ado, I think we should get into the video. Not a lot of people can afford an Hermes bag or a Birkin bag. Both were gifts for incredibly big occasions in my life. One was for a big, big birthday and the other one was for my wedding and I'm very, very lucky to have them and now I can review them for you. These two bags are both some of the most iconic bags that Hermes does. Now keep in mind Hermes does many many other different bags and they're so worth looking into but these bags are the ones I have and so we're going to be comparing the two because they're also iconic. If you happen to find yourself in a moment in your life where you've decided it's time to buy an Hermes bag and you don't know whether to buy the Birkin or the Kelly, it's a hard decision. And you know what? There are some unexpected things that people don't know about both of the bags. So what I did for you in this video is I wore the Birkin for one day and then I wore the Kelly for the next day. So without further ado, let's first explain the type of bags that I have. First, let me introduce you to my Birkin. Now, this is a Birkin in the size 35. It's in the color Etope, which is like a beautiful taupey color. It goes with mostly everything. The leather is Clements, which means it's all squishy and soft and you can just hug it like a little squishy toy. Um, it's the softest of the leather. It's much softer than Togo, or let's just say slouchier. Slouchier is a good word. There are so many options in the leather, but this bag is very much uh, my big bag, it fits so much into it, and I explain that in this part of the video when I decided to take it out on the first day. So guys, going out with friends for lunch, let's just move all this stuff, and I've got the Birkin in question right here, so I thought I'd show it to you when it's empty, and I'd pack it all up and put the things in there right in front of you. By the way, I've been wearing my lob straight, and this is it with a little kink in it so let me know if you want to see the tutorial for that so as you can see it's a roomy bag it's got a lot of space in there so let's see how it does on a lunchtime kind of going out just with the girls for lunch and walking around the shopping center situation but yeah i do say the word situation my mom said that i said that word a lot so this is quite slouchy um what i'm going to put in there first is some feminine things that always need to go in there I always carry a lipstick, lip balm, lip liner with me because I'll probably top that up. I've got headphones. I've got my wallet. My gym tag. I'm not going to go in there, but I like to keep it with me, you know, in case the gym mood strikes me when I'm in my dress. I don't know. Always have a pen, a charger for my car. My hands have been so, so dry recently, guys. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I've got a snake skin lizard situation, and I'm normally never a dry person so hmm. right now i'm using touch tough hands for her by to it i don't know house keys sunglasses darling car keys a hair tie and two bobby pins because you know maybe i'll need to put my hair up and a um tangle teaser so there is a lot of room for more and if you were going to the office or something and you needed a notepad then oh, get off i'm using this moleskin one at the moment so it's black it's a lot more serious i'm kind of evolving and growing up from the gold one i used to have that would fit in really well i'm not going to take that on the girls lunch but as you can see it all fits in really nicely and it's so easy to just throw things in guys i've got no 
like a way of telling you that the Birkin is really, really good for just throwing everything in and off you pop. And then the phone fits right in the pocket on the side there, as you can see, and you just throw it up on your hand. The only thing that I worry about with the Birkin, and I'll tell you this before even doing this video, is that the thing is heavy. Even lifting it right now, this is not a light bag. Like I'm using my shoulder, I'm putting my body into it. So, you know, that's the downfall, but it is big. And even without the items, it is heavy. Once my husband carried it for me and he said, you know, you need to put a little bit less in the bag because it's bloody heavy. When we were walking around New York, actually, check out those photos on Instagram. We got some amazing photos but um when he was carrying it around he's like put less in there and i'm like there's nothing in there simon simon there's nothing in there and there isn't there, there was just like a camera and my wallet but the bag itself is heavy because i guess it's really high quality and it's just sturdy so let's go to lunch outfit wise you can see that the birkin kind of suits a really cool like businessy daytime look Oh, this jacket is from Zimmerman, and I love this jacket, and the bag kind of just works. Um, it's not very, like, out there or wild. It's just really kind of demure and cool, and I like it for the day because you can really, you know, fit a lot in, wear it out, and Bob's your uncle. But already, there's no strap. You can't put it on your arm. Oh, well. It's a Birkin, babe. Like, as long as you're driving, you can just put it on the passenger seat, and there you go. Hi, baby. Hi. So I'm doing a video today. Yes. Hold that. And I'm comparing two two bags. Yeah. I'm comparing the Birkin with the Kelly, and I need your opinion. Lift it. Is it heavy? No. It's light. It's light. Because I was feeling like it's super heavy. Look at the amount of items in there. I guess though I have the Saint yeah. Laurent, and this yeah. for me is heavier, like, me a feel? lot heavier than this. But I do have a lot of stuff in there. What's in there? But look at the amount of stuff. Nothing, right? Oh, okay. There is now a you? in there. Is it heavy? Very strong. Heavy duty yeah. leather. <laughs> it is, it is a bit heavy. Is it heavy? Like for the amount of things in there? Let me have a, I have a, I have a few. I have a bit going on in here. You've got a life going on in there. And there's a lot of stuff in there. In the yeah, we're pretty so. even here. We're pretty even? All right, maybe it's just me, because I was feeling like it's heavy. All right. This bag was made in the 80s, in 1983 to be exact, and then produced from then onwards. And it was made with a modern woman in mind. And let's be honest, we carry a lot of things around and I feel like it really does answer that question. When Jane Birkin asked the Hermes brand to make a bag which she could fit everything into, they did exactly that. This bag has convenience at the forefront. The handles are on either side, so you can literally put everything in. And then if you do decide to make it into more of a Birkin shape, you can then close it, but you can always access the top, which I really, really love. And I think, I think this bag has never let me down when it comes to fitting everything in. I take it to the airport and in the airport I can fit a magazine, some slippers and socks, a scarf, a notepad, my passports, my wallet, deodorant, lip gloss, creams for the airplane, literally this bag will not let you down. It has the biggest inside accommodation ever in the world. However, it is heavy. And I did try and ask my friends if they found it heavy too. I don't know if they were just trying to be nice for the camera, but everyone admits and everybody knows because of the double lining of the leather, this bag is heavy. And if you don't mind that, then it's really up your alley. Those who watch my channel know that my mum um, is an Hermes lover too. And she loves a big Birkin. She just loves to have everything with her. When I went on my trip to New York, I actually took my Birkin bag with me and having worn it during the whole day, I felt like my arm was gonna fall off. So in the evening of this specific day, I had an event for Honey Burdette, which is a really beautiful lingerie brand. Check them out if you don't know them. Hey, hey, my loves. So I'm home after a fabulous lunch, darlings. It was really fun. The Birkin did well. We walked around the shopping center. We didn't do shopping, but we just, you know, had a little walk around, look around. Um, have to say, it's kind of heavy on the arm, despite what the girl said. After I turned the camera off, they were like, it is pretty heavy. And, but I feel like it's just like this perfect little companion that you can have with you. Because of the type of leather of that bag, it's really like slouchy and quite relaxed. So you can just throw everything in there. I think it's like the perfect daytime bag. 
and it just really suits me. So the next stage and the next test is I've got an event tonight for Honey Burdette, which is a beautiful lingerie brand. I'm going there with my husband, so I'm just gonna hang out at home. I'm gonna change. I'm let you, gonna let you go here and uh, I'll let you know how it lasts the night. So I'm doing a video today about the Kelly versus the Birkin and exactly but the good thing about the Birkin is it fits so much. Oh what's that? An Arizona iced tea, green tea for 99 cents. <laughs> Stop it. Click down and buy one. Click below and buy one. There isn't gonna be one below. You should. Well I don't know where to um, click. Can't you then link it? Okay, I'll link your eternity. But anyway, this is the thing that the Birkin, it fits so much. So right now we're on our way to an event, like I said, for Honey Burdette, and you get to put drinks in there, all kinds of rubbish, and just bring it all with you. <laughs> went there with my husband and what I don't show in the video because I was having too much fun at the event is that most of the time he was the one holding this bag I know that's really funny but he was the one holding the bag most of the time because if you've got this bag on your arm as you can see it's like this it hasn't got a handle and you're trying to talk to someone and you've got a glass of champagne and you don't want to spill it I normally end up delegating this bag to my husband it's the most perfect bag in conclusion for day for office if you work in an office and you love a day bag and you just love to put everything in and really use it I would really suggest this bag this bag wins for that absolutely hands down over the Kelly my specific Birkin is in size 35 if you wanted a more fancy Birkin, you could get it in a smaller size. They come in all sorts of sizes. They come in a 25, 30, 35, and 40. And uh, so you can really have your choice when you're going for them. So my verdict on the Birkin is it's iconic. You can always resell this bag basically for the price you got it. The taupe is the color that I have and it's a classic color. There are eight colors in the Hermes classic collection and then they have every six months, they have new colors coming out for the collection but then they go away again. So when you guys are asking me what kind of color I like or what kind of color is best to buy, it really depends what Hermes has. So I would suggest you go in there and you ask them what their seasonal colors are and if they don't have the one you like, then buy a classic. I mean, classic is classic. Talking of amazing colors, this is my Kelly. Oh my God, I love this color. I'm just looking at the color in the viewfinder and it just blows my mind. So the Kelly was actually made a long, long time before the Birkin and it was named after Grace Kelly and it wasn't its original name, but Grace Kelly wore this bag and she held it over her pregnant belly in order to cover it up and then it got named after Grace Kelly. The prototype of the Kelly bag was actually made in 1892. In 1923, Hermes actually designed a much more Kelly looking Kelly, but the bag really hit big time when Hitchcock featured it in a film called To Catch a Thief in 1954 after which Grace Kelly fell in love with it as she was one of his stars and she, like I said in the beginning, put it over her pregnant belly and then she was Princess Grace Kelly and it just exploded and it was named after her in the 50s. However, unlike the Birkin, this bag was first made in 18, then 1920 and now in the 50s and it is a 50s looking bag. Why? I'll tell you why. I took this bag to work with me and um, I'll tell you how much I could fit in it. Roll the clip. Hi guys, so this is the second part of the review, which is Birkin versus Kelly. So today I'm going to work. I still need to put lipstick on, I look like a ghost, but today I'm gonna be taking this Kelly, which I have a video for, so I'll link it down below. But I'm just gonna put in the same things I always take and see how it goes. So first, obviously it's not as roomy as the Birkin, but um, I'll review it throughout the day. So I'm just rushing to work. So first the wallet, I'm going to bring the um, Tangle Teaser hairbrush, so that's still fitting in. My keys for the car, keys for the house, that's obviously no problem. The only difference with this, obviously, to the um, Birkin I have is this one is an exotic leather, so this is ostrich, and it's like really precious, and I normally wouldn't take it to work, but for the sake of the video, I want to review it throughout the day, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a hair tie and um, a charger, a pen, pair of sunglasses, a lipstick lip liner, and 
had what are they earphones and my phone so so far the bag is pretty much full because i'm going to work i need these notepads to write on but obviously that's not going to fit and i'm not going to fit them in there so that's one part of a kelly that i wouldn't wear it on the daily because i wouldn't really risk putting notepads into something that's so precious and beautiful so i carry these in my hand but um i better rush off to work and i'll see you there so guys i've just finished my job for the day we presented one of these beautiful houses right on the water here you can see the water and i'm off i'm going to the car and uh so far update with the birkin just had a fight with simon i need to tell you about it it's ridiculous simon's my husband by the way but this is one of the things that um about the kelly bag sorry it's the kelly a kelly so right now i'm getting in the car and when you want to get anything out it's a bit of a dig through do you know what i mean look the the um notepads in the kelly i obviously wouldn't wear it like that but every time you close it it's quite complicated so luckily i've got my car key so i'm in the car guys i've just got in and as i was saying whenever you carry a kelly and this is not a bad thing but just as i said with the burke in it being double leather and things like that it gets very heavy and it hasn't got a shoulder strap remember that you can put everything in it but unfortunately it's hard to carry with the kelly as gorgeous as she is look at this gorgeous thing you always got to dig through and i actually had a fight this morning with simon oh he's calling me um basically i was just getting in my car with my bag and he was all like oh my god don't scratch it don't scratch it and it's just so annoying because i'm not going to scratch it and that's the thing with precious bags everyone just gets so uppity about them everyone just gets so upset and i get his point like he doesn't want me to scratch it he wants me to be careful and look after it but honestly that's everyone's re reaction to these luxury bags everyone gets really really up in arms so i was in a bit of a huff today i get he's just trying to look after me and protect me but oh my god, the bag can't rule your life, guys. Honestly, if you're going to invest in a bag like that, I would tell you don't unless you can buy it a few times over because this kind of like um, preciousness about it isn't what they were designed for. Even Jane Birkin says she just wants to just stomp on her Birkin bag. So don't worship the bag and wear it in your own personal style. And for me, you know, I wasn't going to scratch the bag. It's fine. Okay, guys, I just arrived. I'm here to see my friend Erin, who you saw before for a quick coffee and lunch as she's going to the Caribbean with her cricketer boyfriend husband and uh, I just want to say hi to her before she leaves so here is the Kelly had to block it away from the Sun otherwise it's gonna um, you know burn in the Sun and um, got all my stuff in here so far and you know it's fitting it all in it's doing a good job but this is the thing about the Kelly I never ever ever close it how it's properly meant to be closed otherwise you're going to be opening it and closing it for the rest of your life. So guys I'm now home and I just wanted to show you what I really love about the little Kelly here. It's really light on the arm and the thing I love most about it is you can wear it open like this and you can just open it and chuck everything in there it's like a little sack however some people don't like to wear it open and in order to close it it's quite a procedure but my favorite thing this here strap I quite like to go hands free and I think it looks just really really cool as it hangs on your body you can always go inside it but you know it's a personal preference kind of thing if you want to close it all the time keep in mind that you're going to be doing this a lot this kind of like on the knee thing in order to close it properly and look I'm not even going to manage to do it now so as you can see not as much fits in and you've got to consider the times back in the day women just used to be able to get into their car if they could afford a Birkin in the first place and just have a few items with them to put on their lipstick or whatever they need to do the bag always used to sit on their lap so this kind of this kind of clo closing structure was not a problem because you could always rest it somewhere and open it up the modern woman however is carrying her bag on her arm or on her shoulder and it's not so easy to get in and out of the bag which sometimes could be a problem for you so if you need quick access to your credit cards to your phone to your lip gloss and you're a woman on the go and you're all about your business and you're not really looking for a bag for going out in the evenings and resting it on the table or on the chair and just getting out your lip gloss quickly then I'd probably suggest a Birkin 
Funnily enough, I went to work and it was fine. I had my keys, everything in there and I couldn't put my notepads in, but that was fine because I was driving in a car. However, if I was in the city or lived in London, I wouldn't really want to be carrying something else in my hands. So in that case, I'd go for a Birkin for a daytime bag and definitely in the size 35. When I met Erin and I had lunch with her, a really funny thing happened is I took the chair and she took the bench and I was literally sitting with this on my lap trying to have my coffee and lunch with her and so I had to take the bag and I had to place it next to her and as you heard from my Simon story it's just a bit of a um anxiety ridden thing you know you don't want someone to ruin your precious kelly and before i go on further let me tell you about this kelly specifically this kelly is in the size 28 which is probably my favorite size for a birkin or a kelly i love the th size 35 and i think it's really really wonderful for the day and i would definitely always keep buying birkins in a size 35 because i love them as a day bag for the office but I love the Kelly in the 28. It works really well when you can hang it on your body and that's the part I love about it most, I think. And I never, ever, ever close it. I always have it open. I guess it's a bit of a modern look. If you look on Pinterest, a lot of girls wear it like this, open. That's not the proper way to wear them. But you know what? You're wearing the bag and the bag is not wearing you. So I like to have my Kelly open. This bag in specific, as I was saying, is size 28. The leather is ostrich and it's super, super rare. And this bag was launched in 2008 with this specific color. And this is why I have this bag from that year. And the color is called Cobalt Blue. It was inspired by driving in the French Alps. And when you look over the Cobalt Blue Lake, this is the color that they believe that they saw. And I absolutely love it. It's somewhere between a turquoise blue green. And it's so, so, so special. It's one of my favorite colors that Hermes do. And I'm making this video in 2018 and they've just released this colorway again. So if this is your jam, I suggest you go in there and get your paws on there because it's a six month thing. Bag is a retourné, which means that it's folded in on the inside and it's got a piping down the middle and the leather folds in inside. It gives it a more cushiony and relaxed look. The Kelly Celia, which means it folds out on the outside, is much more robust looking. And then there is the Epsom Togo and Clemens leather. Again, this is in the ostrich skin leather. So those are my two bags. In the end, there must be a winner. So what is my verdict? My verdict for you when it comes for Birkin versus Kelly is what do you want? Do you want the popular Birkin or do you want the popular Kelly? Because in the early 10s, like 2009 and earlier, Birkin was the jam, but now everybody kind of wants a Kelly. So they're both winning. They're both winners when it comes to popularity. If you want to buy them and resell them and have their value never go down, again, they're both just as popular as one another, so you're really not gonna be at a loss. So what it really leaves you with is which one is more convenient to you. If you need a bigger bag to fit everything into, I would go for a big Birkin because it really, really is a good bag to just put everything into and it's also very very beautiful if you go for one in a togo leather it's going to stand up and it's going to be a lot harder epsom is the same if you go for clements it's going to be slouchy like mine however with the kelly i think i love the strap on it and if you want to wear it open or if you're someone who sits down a lot and you can afford to just keep opening it and closing it or you don't go in your bag that often i would say a kelly is the winner and for me drum roll the bag that i think i like more Oddly, it's a Kelly. I think Kelly is the winner for me. There's something I love about the whole Grace Kelly connotation. I love the fact that it's got a shoulder strap. I think that's what makes it win for me. My dream bag would definitely probably be a black Kelly in a Togo leather with gold hardware. I'm a simple girl and I just like that classic bag. I like that look, but I would always also want a Birkin that I could just fit everything into because honestly guys, when I travel, you cannot just literally you can't fill a birkin you will always have room in a birkin it's just the way life is so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some information out of it and if you've got any more questions about birkins or kelly's throw them in the comments down below or look forward to the next series where i'll be comparing something else versus something else and don't forget to like and subscribe and remember i love you lots like jelly tots bye